The next thing I want to talk about is RIP authentication. I showed you a sample configuration, but here I want to talk about authentication in detail. Let me go to Ethernet 1 and check configuration of authentication. You can see that I can use no authentication using none. I can have simple authentication and this is not secure because password is sent in clear text. And I can have message digest 5 authentication. This is the most secure uh, authentication available. If I click on MD5, I have two options. I can create a keychain or I can create an authentication key. You know how to create an authentication key. It is very easy. But let me cancel this out and go to keys here. Here I can create a keychain. A keychain can have a lot of keys. Click on this plus sign and name this keychain anything you want. For example, RIP. And there is a key ID here. I want to show you if it is important or not. But the key ID, for example, here is going to be 1. And the key. The key is the password. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is my password that I have assigned here. You can see that this password is valid from now forever, but you can change it to a specific time. But forever is OK for my purpose here. I click on OK, go to the interface, select the interface and select authentication MD5. And instead of assigning the authentication key, I am assigning a key from the keychain RIP. Click on Apply, click on OK, and this is the authentication set on this interface. Now, the same configuration should be created on the other side. Let's go to Router 1 and go to Keys here. You should create a key, not necessarily with the same name, but I prefer to have the same name here. So you do not have to have the same names on both routers. What about the key ID? I want to have the key ID 1. But the password, make sure the password is quite the same. The password is 123456. And the from time and the two, these two should be the same as what you have created on the other side. Click on OK. Go back to interface, select the interface, and assign MD5. And this is because on the other side I have chosen to have MD5. Select keychain rep. Click on Apply, click on OK. Now authentication is working. If I go to routes, I can see that whatever route I am receiving from router 3 is going to be refreshed. And this is the refresh that you have just seen. OK? Now let's change the key ID and see if key ID is working. So I double click on this keychain. Select the key ID instead of 1, for example, I make it 11. And click on OK. Now I go to Routes and wait for a refresh. As you can see, this is not going to be refreshed because the key ID is not the same as the key ID on the other side. So not only the key must be the same, the key ID must be the same on both sides as well. But the key name is not important. So I go back to Keys, change the key ID to 1 again, now on the other side the key ID is 1, here I, key, uh, I change the key ID to 1 again, click on OK and go to Routes, and after some time I should see that this route is getting refreshed. Wait for that, for a maximum of 30 seconds I need to wait for that, but wait, 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 wait again, and uh, hey, where are you? Uh, the update is going to... Uh, that's the update. Now you can see the update is here. Okay, now you know how to configure authentication using keychain and using the key. 